Hey guys, welcome to Captain German Exploring YouTube channel. Today I will tell you about Square Magma Chef made grill. By the way, you can see it behind me. Before it, we had a round kettle grill, also magma grill, and we decided to replace it with a square one because of many issues with a round. And we would like to have more reliable, better, and have food more tasty. Are you ready? Let's go. If we look ahead, we choose Magma Chef's made grill. But before it, we thought a lot, we argued a lot with Adina and she insisted to buy marine magma grill. Uh, I told her that marine is just marine because uh, you can buy it in a marine shop. But anyway, we checked Amazon, we looked at many no-names uh, grills, took a pepper, separated in two parts, cons, pros, and uh, finally we choose it magma marine version but today i will tell you about really important points uh, which made our decision the first grill is master built efficiency is 10,000 btu dimensions 72 centimeters so it is a quite long baby the weight is eight kilos and uh, on my point of view, big advantage is a U-shaped burner. So uh, I hope the distribution of fire will be very efficient. What I like is a temperature sensor, so you can understand when you can cook. And electric igniter, so you can start fire just pressing button. The price is $170. I think that is the cheapest one. Uh, but Honestly, I saw it much cheaper, like 130 bucks plus delivery. The big disadvantage is a no spare parts. If something breaks, you need to buy a new grill, so you cannot buy a spare parts for it. No rail mounts, you need to find how to do it, and uh, it's unknown stainless steel. I don't know how much it could last. Second one is a Jantex with a two burners so uh, you can cook on a one side and uh, keep it warm in another or cook something with a different temperature separately the efficiency is a 20,000 BTU so each burner has a 10,000 BTU dimensions uh, it is a little bit shorter wider and higher but it's not really important the weight is 12 kilos it's the heaviest one it has a two burners u shape i think temperature distribution will be fine it has a rail mount you can buy it separately also it has a temperature sensor and uh, it cost 180 usd plus delivery disadvantages are no spare parts as previous one and unknown stainless steel the last one is a Magma Chef's made gas grill. It's the most expensive, 300 USD plus delivery, efficiency 13.5 thousand BTU, so from all these small grills, this one is more efficient. Dimension is uh, quite regular, so it's like one centimeter plus one centimeter minus, doesn't really matter. Uh, it has a rail mounts and it has a spare parts. If something breaks, you can just easily buy a broken part. This grill made from a marine inox. Uh, disadvantages, it's a most expensive one. It has a one stick burner, so I think heat distribution, I hope, will be efficient just because of reflector. It has no temperature sensor, but in the future I will show you how to solve this problem. And it has no uh, igniter, so you cannot start fire with a just pressing button. You need to use a just regular lighter. The regular magma grill price we looked at about 300 bucks. If you check no names, uh, 120, 180 dollars, you can choose 
on my point of view good models for example two burners in one burner you can cook another burner you can use for a warming up already ready meat for example and not to cool it down if you take it out from a grill and put it in a plate but for example two burners uh, the handles and the regulator all the time will be outside so salty water get in it and for example igniter with salty water not really big friends we thought that if we use uh, something more complicated it could die quickly just because of environment but magma says they do the grills from a marine grade stainless steel i hope so okay we choose it magma grill Let's go to Magma Grill website and check. Maybe chefs made, it's not only really good one, maybe we can choose a cheaper one or better one with the different options. The price of Magma chefs made is 300 USD. But another one, a little bit cheaper than uh, Chef's Mate, is a cable. It is exactly like uh, Chef's Mate, but without fancy label of magma which is absolutely doesn't matter and also the handle uh, which you open a grill made from a stainless steel it's a stainless steel bar in a cable it's a plastic handle uh, but according to our experience we use it a kettle grill and in a kettle grill it's a plastic handle and uh, with the one time i don't remember what exactly we cook it maybe pork it was a big fire and handle burned out so we decide to choose a stainless steel bar which open the grill another one is a trial made it is a smaller one really small one i, I would say smallest uh, grill in a magma range so if you live alone uh, i would say this is the best option because you will consume less of gas because burner smaller and uh, it has a 10,000 btu so for one person it's a still very efficient grill and of course to have a full range of grills uh, another option is a round one which we used it before it is a kettle grill which i personally don't like i would say that it's not a really good one uh, in a magma grill because there are many parts which is uh, absolutely unreliable like a burner and a heat distributor uh, but anyway you need to see it and uh, the price is uh, quite high on my point of view there are many more expensive options uh, you can find in a magma grill website for example something like a newport infrared grill which is a little bit uh, different technology uh, i would say i would like to have just regular grill to put uh, meat and not to really to pay attention of uh, the technology and everything i need just a primitive basic grill we decided not to buy something really expensive and to save money it's also possible to buy something like a Monterey Classic Grill, which is, uh, has a few layers and a cutting board in front. But uh, of course you can buy it, but 650 for a grill, I would say it's a little bit expensive. Wow, 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 what is this? It's our magma grill, which was delivered directly to our marina. Dina, let's go and open the box, please, quickly, quickly quickly please it's our new magma chef's made grill open box it's a user manual on top this is our baby look at this so beautiful it's a stainless steel open it open it please and uh, so shiny look at this it's a shiny shiny mirror this regulator for regular camping gas 
and uh, you can connect holes uh, to this uh, regulator because it has a reducer in it. According to my experience, there are many problematic parts in a magma kettle grill. I know exactly that first of all the burner going out immediately after a few months. It happens because grease from food getting into the burner and the burner burns. After burner, second problematic part is a heat reflector. Uh, it's more reliable, I would say. Uh, it could last about one year, maybe a little bit more. But anyway, the, there are two parts which you need to replace quite regularly. In a chef made square grill, uh, it will be pretty the same. So I will give you information about these two parts, about prices. Uh, and uh, let's see, because uh, for the present time, I don't have any experience with a chef made grill. But now let's go and I will show you how to save a little bit money. In uh, our grill there is uh, no temperature sensor. It is a very easy solution. Uh, if you buy grill with this sensor it will cost you 200 bucks more. But with the 10 bucks if you go to Amazon you can buy temperature sensor which is exactly the same. You can drill small hole in a lid and put it in a in a regular position and uh, you will save maybe 150 bucks because of temperature sensor and okay maybe igniter also very convenient option but igniter you can buy two with a 10 bucks if one uh, will be dead because of environment you just take it out and put another one and by the way you can install it in uh, the same hole which uh, you can use normally for a lighter to set the fire on a burner. I think uh, temperature sensor and uh, igniter will save you 200 bucks if you buy that set uh, from a magma grill website. Guys, let's go and I'll show you how to clean a kettle magma grill. So look, this surface you can easily to take out, but the problem is it's, it's so big and you cannot put it in a kitchen sink to clean. So uh, it's a little bit complicated. This part you can easily clean, but the kettle itself, you cannot clean it inside because it's too big. You can do it on a pier, for example, or on a beach with the sand, but it's uh, too complicated to do it. Another thing, uh, when the burner is broken you cannot unscrew it and uh, this part which is a uh, grease collector you absolutely cannot remove it and you have grease all the time here under your grill let's i'll show you how to clean square one it's very easy just open it surface divide it in a three parts so it's a quite small, you can put it easily in machine or to the kitchen sink and just to clean it is very easy because of size. After burner, it's ready. So this one also not so big, you can clean it in a kitchen sink. After you take the pin out, take the burner. And I think the dirtiest part is here. So you just move it on the side a little bit and lift it. You can see it's not really a big part. You can use a dishwasher to clean it. Return back, install in burner. Pin. Heat reflector ready and cooking surface one two three ready now i would like to show you how to connect your grill any grill like kettle grill trial mate and chef's mate cabo grill any grills to different gas tanks 
when you buy a grill, uh, there is uh, some uh, regulator with a reducer in a set. So normally you need to screw just regular green propane tank. You can buy it in uh, any shop, so it is a quite basic uh, propane tank. But if you want to connect it to something like a camping gas, you can buy a regulator without reducer hose and a separate reducer uh, and you can screw it to camping gas. Depends on the uh, shape of uh, gas tank. So uh, that's the second option, which is uh, quite common. Uh, you can buy in any shop where uh, you can buy magma grills. But it is another option, which on my point of view, more uh, convenient. So you can use a uh, just regular uh, regulator with a reducer which was in a set and connect a special hose which is you can screw uh, just directly in a reducer and an opposite side is just regular uh, connection to any gas bottles just you can use on a boat so just easy you screw in it uh, in a reducer and uh, screw it to any gas tank and you have uh, just big variety of options depending on uh, gas system you use on your boat this grill stays outside for five years and uh, you can see the condition all the metal is uh, fine uh, even a regulator is fine it's not a perfect clean, but anyway, owner said everything is this grill from the beginning, nothing changed. In our new magma grill, we are using setup from a kettle grill from our previous grill. It is a hose connected to reducer and uh, all the system connected to our blue camping gas. So now we are ready to start our grill. To unlock it you need just to turn the lock to opposite direction and open the lid. On the left side of grill there is a hole you can uh, put lighter inside to set the fire on a burner. Now open a gas tank, open the regulator, press a button on the lighter, that's ready. Let's wait a little bit to warm it up. And of course, this is a new grill, better to uh, heat it very well before first use. We are going to cook filet. We got it from a local store and veggies like onion, tomatoes and bananas. First we put meat on our grill. We have uh, three big pieces. edges on a grill as well now close lid and uh, let's wait a little bit now we can turn the meat to the opposite side look at this it's so beautiful and almost ready maybe a little bit more on opposite side and we can start eating It is quite high temperature inside a grill, so let's close lid and wait a little bit more. Maybe add a little bit more temperature. Now everything is ready and uh, let's try it. I hope our meat will be juicy, because I want to have it a little bit with the blood, not to over dry. Let's add some bananas, because we want to have a little bit sweet veggies at the end of our meal. Oh la la, our food is ready, so let's try it. Let's cut the meat. It is very juicy. So guys, it's very tasty meat. Uh, I'm really happy. I'm really happy to <laughs> to have this new grill because finally I got the 
meat which I really like juicy a little bit with a blood uh, but it had happened just because of our new toy and I hope we will enjoy it without any troubles for a long long time okay guys thank you for watching us i hope my experience will help you in the future if you decide to choose your uh, grill you will be able to choose a perfect one uh, based on uh, our thoughts on our experience uh, so put like don't forget to subscribe check bell and uh, see you in the next video bye bye